I'm going to draw all the isomers, uh, the structural isomers. If you want, we'll try the geometric isomers afterwards. Um, and what's helpful for me is find the degree of unsaturation so I know what kinds of things I'm actually drawing. So in this case, if it was an alkane, it would be C4H10, so I'm missing two hydrogens. So since two hydrogens are missing, divided by the number two, I have one degree of unsaturation. That means I either have an alkene or I have a ring. That's what one degree of unsaturation means, not both. So uh, let's just start with alkene and go from there. Uh, it could be as long as a four. And this is just my method to do the longest possible one first and then get shorter and shorter from there. The longest possible one is this. Uh, I can put the double on there or in the middle. Okay. That's four. Now let's go down to three. I could, uh, that has four carbons. And I, there's only one place to put the double bond. Okay. And if anybody has one to add that you think I missed, please let me know. So some fool on YouTube doesn't like make a mean comment. Okay. <laughs> so that's the four. The three, well that's about as small as we can get with a chain. Oh, yeah. so, uh, do you have another idea? No. Oh, yeah. Well, the only place because that's the only one I can think of. Yeah. Uh, so now let's go to the rings. The rings will start at four. Again, I'll start with the biggest and go down from there. Uh, now, this is just a ring. You don't also have to add a double bond. Uh, so a ring, go down to three with one. Uh, and then you kind of have a two-membered ring, so that's as small as you can get. So those are all the constitutional structural isomers. I could add geometric if I want. If I add the geometric, considering looking for cis and trans, if this is a uh, trans, then I could add the cis version. This is cis, they're both on the same side of the double bond. Oh. Where here they're on opposite sides yeah. of the double bond. Uh, and nothing else has cis or trans. Uh, no, the, none of the rings have two substituents, so if you include the geometric isomers, there's <coughs> four six. Okay? Anything, uh, any other structures you think I missed in this set of pictures here? Uh, 